we wishing all the to Gurudev and all devotees happy Guru Purnima on this most important and blessed day for all Vaishnavas and everything what Sadaka is doing and desiring to attain actually depends on Guru Deva's mercy. So I will say that proper understanding of Guru Tattva is the essence of spiritual life. If we don't understand properly Guru Tattva, then it's very difficult to progress in spiritual life. Understanding, when I say understanding, it's not only by mind and intellectual understanding. This kind of understanding must be from the heart. Otherwise, decades and decades and decades can pass and Sadaka will not attain his goal. Uh, one second, because some problems are in translation rooms. Translation doesn't work for creation. Because numbers are Ramani, Croatia is written. Wow. Just one second. All right. I'm not in front of the laptop right now. Sure. Radha Radha Maharaj Ji, Happy Guru Purnima. Happy Guru Purnima, Radha Radha. Thandavat Parnam, how are you? Sorry for late, kya bolte? Radha Mohan ko mein flower chada rahi thi. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Is it okay yeah. now for Croatian translation? Uh, once Devotees once. are here. <laughs> they are hearing Ramani? No, 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 they cannot hear still. Okay. Something is, is wrong. Okay, one second. Ramani Croatia, right? Yes, Ramani Croatia. Yeah. It's not Japanese. Oh. Rade, Rade. Okay, Rade, Rade. That's the Jewish is one. Now? Okay. Now it's okay. Yeah. Now oh. it's okay. All right. Guru Jai Radhe Radhe Guru Radhe Radhe. Italian translation. Yeah. All Guru Purnima ki jai. All Vaishnava. My dad was all Vaishnava. Yes. Yes. Radha. 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 Radha.
जय गुरु पूर्णिमा की जाओ जय गुरु जय और वैष्णव और सब लोटस फीट ऑफ ऑल वैष्णव जय हो Yes, it's yes, yeah. Okay. So, proper understanding of Guru Tattva, is it possible only in the association of saintly persons? Oh, well, I'm going to do it. In the association of saintly persons, we can get a proper understanding of Guru Tattva, but also deep feeling in the heart. what does it mean and there are some conditions to approach such personalities proper approach and it said in bhagavad gita tadvidi prani patena pari prashnena sevaya so humbly approaching humbly asking proper questions and after that it's necessary third step is necessary seva serving such a personality and trying to satisfy him in that way Sadaka can attain his goal and progress properly. Otherwise, it will be always some blockages. So, we will start with this Guru Vandana from Narottam Das Thakur. It's a famous song. in gaudiya vaishnava tradition it's the prayers to guru to guru dev one of the nine fold processes of navada bhakti like shravanan kirtana smaran archana is the vandana so narottam das thakur is giving his beautiful words and revealing the truth about Guru Tattva Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Sadma Bando Muni Savadana Sane Yahara prasade bai e bava tarya jai Krishna prapti ho yaha hoite Carefully I praise the lotus feet of my Shri Guru that are the only abodes of pure devotion o oh, brother or mind by his grace you will cross the ocean of material existence 
and attain Krishna. I will read translation one more time. Carefully, I praise the lotus feet of my Sri Guru. That are the only abodes of pure devotion. Oh, brother, mind, by his grace, you will cross the ocean of material existence and attain Krishna. Forty three page for translate <coughs> by first saying of the word Sri Guru, Srila Takur Mahashaya indicates the Guru principle. or the truth about the Guru, Guru Tattva. The word Shri means the treasure of Prema. Anyone who has this treasure He is Sri Guru. You want to say something, Guru Dev? Sri means Radha. Sri is Sri Krishna is also Sri is Radha Shakti of Shakti Man is Sri. Sri is only mentioned when my Swami Nikishori is there. So Guru is full of love because he is very close one very close to the only one-pointed association with Radha. So similar love is coming to the Guru also because of the closeness of Radhika. So we can say that Dasi Guru is Radha Priya Dasi. Yeah. So Guru is a Dasi of Radhika. Yeah. That is the Guru Tattva. So simple. Shri means the treasure of Prema. Yes, so Radhika is always with her. This is the meaning. These books are is in Parkia Bhav. Parkia means behind meaning you have to know. How you will know with association, 
with some who is test this. That is, then we understand. Written as something, meaning is behind there. Yes. Mm. He who desires to learn about the most auspicious devotional principles should take shelter of the feet of Sri Guru. Yeah. Who knows the scriptures and who has practically experienced of God. Get the point. Practical experience. One knowing a scripture, one is the experience, means realization. Mm. I know the books, but I realize this difference. Of it. I know the books and I don't want to realize it. That is Vedic. What is that? Vedi Why did? And when you want to realize it, it's a ragamut. <laughs> Only I want to know that gather the information is a Vedi You don't need to read much for raga. One line. If you realize it, Sri Guru is Radha Dati, that is, all will be clear to you. And practical experience also means that he knows his Swaru, the Guru, knows his Swaru. Or he can be with Radhika if the Sarup is not clear to, to the Dasi. How he can be close? He knows his identification and he is fixed in his mood, not changing. He living there. Then I give the example of Jesus. He is living in his son's identification. Then he no see God, he see Father. Because he was fixed in his identification of son, so he only looked Father. When I, my identification is not fixed in my relationship, I see God. So what you want to see? God? Then okay, then believe peace can work. But if you want to first identify yourself to in your relationship, that is Prema Bhakti. That is Raga. who has practical experience through his practice of devotion. Uh, always devotion. 24 7. He always thinking, doing, sleeping, thinking, chanting, talking, or is a point for the service. That is mm. bhajan kriya. What is bhajan kriya? Bhajan and the activity is your kriya. I do bhajan. One lakh, two lakh. No meaning. 
if you not kriya means all your activities is not one point that is no bhajan kriya yeah so if you see radha govindas baba ji maharaj he was living in the bhajan kriya bhajan and all the activities all the activities was one point is in the service of radha if shri gurudev doesn't know the truth he cannot erase or uproot the students doubts about bhajana topics and if he is not devoted he cannot infuse bhajana experience into his student you know in fusion you don't need to do one will come and pick something and the water will go inside your body in fusing like this one bottle when we sit they infuse us so we have nothing to do doctor has to do a compounder has to infuse us and is working on and that energy gives insight to me so gurudev with his love with his kindness with his energy he infuses inside me i have no idea i am so fallen i don't understand but he infuses me infuses if you take infusion you no need to do anything you only have to lie down and wait the time till your infusion is not finished right <laughs> this is the meaning of us that Mm. Have to have to be sired in you to get the infusion. That is that. Yes. Sweetie. And be patient. That this substance is going through all our heart and body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will jump a little bit. Yeah. Shila Thakur Mahashaya says, Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Sadma. Here, the word word charana devotional manner to worship someone actually shri guru charana means shri guru deva the word padma indicates that just as lotus is a boat of honey shri gurudeva is similarly 
the supreme shelter of Kevala or pure devotion. Kevala Bhakati Sadma. Srimati Rupa Goswami Pad defined hallmarks of Kevala. Anya Bilashita Shunya Gyana Karmadhyana Vrita Anukulena Krishna Anushilana Bhaktir Uttama. Yeah. The definition of devotion, but actually is definition of most sublime devotion, Uttama, is that is a free from ulterior desires, hidden desires, like enjoying the fruits of fruitive activities mm. and non-dualistic knowledge and is so fully performed for Krishna's pleasure. This is the definition of Srimad Rupa Goswami of Kevala Bhakti. You want to say One something? Thing. I want to add, when gold is fixed, three is fixed, then Guru is important. When my life, gold is not fixed, then Guru sometimes is not very important. The person who fixed the life, gold, that my Ishtadev, my goal is my Ishtadev, my goal is my Radha Rani, Radha Krishna, Radha Mohan. When this is fixed, then Guru is important. Then Keval only this is the Keval thing. Only, only thing what you are explaining is important. And then, who realize it, they know the value of the cable, what you explain, repeat again. Beautiful. Definition of devotion, but it's uttama bhakti, it's not ordinary devotion. Is that it's free? from hidden desires like enjoying in fruits of fruitive activities. When the desire is fixed of yesterday, then you imagine how fruitive activities other desire, then no fixed desire. Kevala, you have to fix for Radhika Guru they will be fixed, I'm telling you. If your goal is not fixed, Guru Dev, you skip that picture, but it's not fixed in our life. Because Sri Guru, then what you reading? Read again. Fortive activities, you know, no, no interested, no. It's nothing meaningful. It is then diversion will come. Two way. Nobody can reach if he has a many ways of the way in the life. We have to fix one way to move on. If you want to achieve jack of all and master in none. So we have many desires in jack of all. 
and one fixed goal is there, then Keval Gurudev is the way. Because he is the Radha Dasi and I find it. And this is the way for my life. Goal has to fix. Read the furtive activities, you read that, you will feel no other desire. And it's interesting, these desires, he is def defying like uh, hidden desires, deep rooted in the heart. Yeah. Sometimes this can be in the very person can be conscious about these desires, but many of these desires are hidden in the heart, deeply rooted like a bijas in the heart. We will not know because of infusion, all my weakness will go out. You know, it's yeah. infusing. Unlikely Gurudev is infusing and it will go out. My all energy will recover. What we lose with the, my blockage, it will recover. Infusion. But one point is necessary. Go on. Yeah. Definition of devotion is that it is free from ulterior or hidden desires, like enjoying the fruits of fruitive activities and non dualistic knowledge and is solely <coughs> performed for Krishna's pleasure, Anukulian. Or we can say Radha Nukulian. No, Krishna pleasure. Why Krishna oh. pleasure? Because this is the desire of Radharan. Mandiri see why Krishna pleasure is mentioned? Because this is for Radharani, Krishna pleasure, not yeah. for Mandiri. <laughs> My you see, this is my so many pleasure to Radha want to please his Krishna. So how to help her to bring where he is to search and bring to my Swami? This is the meaning of Krishna pleasure. He is going in the midnight, in the rainy time, in the muddy road to meet Krishna. For the Krishna place. What the Manjari do? For Radha pleasure, but Radharani is doing for the Krishna pleasure. Gurudev is doing to please Radhika, and the Manjari, the Dasi of Gurudev, is trying to please Manjari. Guru Manjari. Gurudev, Guru. Yeah. So, on 45th page, Srila Thakur Mahashaya calls Sri Gurudeva Kevala Bhakti Sadma and thus defines the constitution of Sri Guru. Yeah. While, while at the same time glorifying Him. Sri 
Shri Guru Charana is a wonderful devotional combination of a Godhead and devotee. And thus, he is a vessel of a pure devotion. Both of devotion in practice and perfect loving devotion. Wow. From the lotus feet of Sri Guru that are abode of pure devotion, the Lord tastes the pure devotional nectar of the living beings bhajana. I must read again. From the lotus feet of Sri Guru, that are the boat of pure devotion, the Lord tastes the pure devotional nectar of the living beings bhajana. Wow. By the grace of, of devotional lotus feet of Sri Guru Sadaka erases all he vices and easily accomplishes a loving attainment of the Lord. On the other hand, when one has no faith in the lotus feet of Sri Guru, or if one commits the fault of being ungrateful to him, The seed of offense is sown and bhakti or bhajana becomes dry and dead-like. Therefore, Srila Thakur Mahashaya continues and saying Bando Mui Sabadana Sane. Bando muy saudan mate. Sadu saudan. Why saudan? Careful, careful. If you have to careful, if you are sadhu, you will be careful. Sadhu saudan. Who is not sadhu, there can no need to saudan. No need to cons. Careful, but sadhu has to be careful. If you are sadhu, you are a pious person, you have to be careful. We have to care. We want to be a pious person, then I have to be myself careful for my duty. The sadaka should carefully render service to that Sri Guru. For by doing so, all his spiritual pursuits are easily attained. Shri Krishna has defined Sri Guru principle from his own mouth 
Tushri Uddhava. Bhagat, Bhagavatam 11, 17, 27. Acharyam mam vijaniyan nava manayet karchit namartya budya asuyata sarva deva mayo guru. I'm sorry for my Sanskrit. <laughs> you should know the acharya to be me. Never slight or disrespect him or find faults in him. Considering him to be an ordinary mortal. Because Sri Guru Deva is aggregate of all the gods. So Baba is continuing and saying, the practitioner must establish full faith in these principles of Sri Guru and carefully engage in Sri Guru Deva's service so that no kind of human conception of the Guru can enter. Even after being engaged in Shri Guru's service for a long time, our minds, bodies, and words are still engaged in so many uncontrolled activities, feelings, and conduct, causing so many heavy offenses to be committed that cause so many obstacles to reaping the results of devotion service. Baba is continuing his warning and says, the cause of that is that we are not fully aware of the Sri Guru principle or the rules and prohibi prohibitions concerning the service of Sri Guru given by scriptures so that we cannot engage in Sri Guru's service with the care. I will read now the page 49 for translators. But I will suggest devotees to very carefully, like a homework, like our own homework, try to read and understand what is written in the in the page 47 we will not read now but it's very important because it's practical reasons practical advices but sorry how to carefully avoiding offenses serve guru approach him it's very, very valuable advices Baba has written. Why not you are telling? If you want Guru, they have no problem. Yeah. 
The rules of guru service are the following. Practitioners should personally bring water for bathing Shri Guru and washing his feet, massage his feet, rub his body, bath him, anoint him with sandal pull and wash his clothes. When he sees Gurudeva coming, he should come before him and offer him prostrated obeisances with eight limbs of the body. He should personally fetch the ingredients of Guru's daily puja, such as tulasi leaves and flowers. He should daily offer the Lord Prashad and drink food and drink to Sri Guru and then eat that remnants. When pronouncing the name of Sri Gurudeva, he should first lower the head, fold the hands, and utter the title, title, Ashtottara, Shtata, Shishi, and so on. Then the name of Sri Guru, and then end with the titles Prabhupada, Vishnupada, and so on. With body, words, and mind, he should satisfy the Guru with sincere and innocent conduct and the pleasant loving attitude with his own wealth, body, abode and life heirs. This is the, another meaning of Bandomui Sabadana Sane. How to carefully this is some rules which we have to follow. This is a positive rules, but there is also prohibitions. Don't step over the sea. Garments, bed, shoes, and other possessions of Sri Gurudeva. Never imitate the gait, speech, voice, or gestures of Sri Guru. Don't spread the legs, place one leg over the other tie before Shri Guru or point the feet to him. Don't yawn, laugh loudly, spread out the fingers, sway the body or make hands and feet or any other limb dance in front of the Guru. Don't sit close to the Guru or before him. Wow, this is not important. This is not possible. Don't lay down on a bed in front of Shri Guru. Don't lord it over others or chastise 
others in front of Shri Guru. When staying in the presence of Shri Guru, never go anywhere without his permission. Never explain the scriptures or give initiation without permission of the Guru. Don't use any language to the Guru that sounds like an order or give him any such indication with the finger or the hand. Never use these disrespectful words like give me this, take that. When something is required, then pray for it humbly. Please permit me to do such. And Please permit me to say so and so. Never eat Sri Guru's food or take his belongings without his permission. Never go, well, never go to any place where someone slanders. Shri Guru Deva or diminishes his glories. Never go to such a place where someone slanders Shri Guru Dev or diminishes his glories. Don't look at the face of the slander of the Guru. Tolerate the rebukes and chastisement of Shri Guru Deva and never treat him in a hostile manner even if he treats you in a hostile manner. In a short, one should never act in a such a way to the Guru that his glories are diminished or that he appears like an ordinary human being. He is a guru and guru means heavy. He can never become light in his glories. This is another meaning of bando mui savadana sane I do my mistake in my life only Vaishnava can help me to improve it really I have many mistakes I do many mistakes so I want to reward, improve my mistakes. It happens. Thank you. There is some time left in me. I will try to improve. Yeah. Page 49, Srila Thakur Mahashaya said, Yahara Prashade Bai, E Bhava Toriyaya, Krishna Prapti Hoi Yaha Hoi. As a result of worshipping the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev, who is the incarnation of Lord's 
deep compassion and a boat of pure devotion, the student will attain both devotion in practice and accomplished devotion. When Sri Guru is pleased, attainment of the Lord and the supreme goal of his loving service are easily accomplished. Therefore, cessation of material suffering disappears as a more secondary factor. Devotee need not bother at all about liberation from material world when he takes shelter of the Lord's lotus feet the ocean of material existence becomes as insignificant as the water in a cow hoof print By Sri Guru's grace, these vices are easily destroyed and practitioner will be blessed with the attainment of Lord's greatest ambrosial grace. In Bhakti Sandarbha he said, the only cause of destruction of vices that are hard to conquer by students' various own endeavors is the grace of Sri Guru. The, the only hope is this. Go on. Yes, Guru Dev. Page 50, verse 4. Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Kridikori Mahashakya Arana Koriko Mane Asha. Shri Guru Charanerati Eise Utama Gati. Ye Prashade Pure Sarva Asha. The words that emanate from Guru's lotus mouth give the heart sufficient strength to attain Krishna. Don't covet, don't desire anything else. Attachment to Sri Guru's lotus feet is the supreme goal and by His grace all desires are fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. In this Tripadi, Srila Thakur Mahashaya first indicates that by saying Guru Mukha Padmavakya, 
Kridi Kori Mahasakya or Arana Kori Humane Asa. Just as the words that emanate from the lotus mouth of Sri Gurudeva, who is embodiment of Bhagavad Bhakti Rasa, are sweet and relishable as a honey. Similarly, they are filled with intoxicating flavors of devotion. I remember one of our fine gurudev. I want to share that. And I now forget that. One day, he was in the feelings. He said to me, Ekhanebhoch, he said to me, You know, always Radharani is taking care of him. Always she take care of us. But she take care of Krishna and Kunja. She take care of Krishna and Vrindavan. And sometimes she not want to go out from the Kunja or Vrindavan. She never goes. And Krishna nature to go many places. So who is serving to Krishna at that time? Asked him. I said, Gurudev, I don't know. He said, Antaranga Sakti is Radha. Antaranga Sakti become Bahiranga Sakti. Because he cannot want to be always in the service. So Radhika become Bhairanga Sakti. I don't understand what is happening. Honestly, I say you. I say Gurudev, I don't understand. Antaranga Sakti is Radharani and he is serving to Krishna. But Bahiranga Sakti is Balram. How he can can arrange all arranged by Balram? Then he say, when the time will come, when you will understand that Antaranga Sakti become Bahiranga Sakti, you will understand it. Antaranga Sakti Radhika is become Balram because he's an Anangmanjiri also. Nitai. And this Anangmanjiri is nothing else with the Radha sister. Same thing is doing for the pleasure what he desired to fulfill the desire of the Krishna. So, Antaranga Sakti and Bahiranga Sakti is all Radha, is the same. So, where you see Jita Deku, what you see that all the Antaranga Sakti is moving every place where the Krishna goes. So this word makes my everything crystal clear and still I am trying to practice to be in this concept and more and more to understand and we'll get more clear application.
so many things. He infused in my life and it was not to forget with the deep meaning. One meaning I tell you. Many small, small part time happens in my life. So deep, I cannot share that. But his all, his words are still moving in my heart. And, and this is the mercy he infused inside to so all his mercy. <laughs> really works well. The words of Sri Guru Deva are sweet and relishable as honey, and is also intoxicating. Because they are full of flavors of devotion. Yeah. Nothing can compare with the instructions of Sri Guru Deva, whose heart melts with the compassion and affection towards his student. I will jump a little bit. Yeah. The, the purpose of this is that when the Lord sees the wretched situation of the human beings, that are bound by Maya, the heart of merciful Lord melts and He wishes to bless them by making them relish the sweet flavors of His ecstatic worship. Then, from Samashti Guru, form of the Lord, the Lord's form as aggregate of all Gurus, the power to become a Guru, Guru Shakti, manifests in great soul or Vyashti Guru individual guru who is accomplished in devotion. And he is qualified to take up the post of Bonifate Guru. Those who are yearning to attain Sri Krishna Keep these powerful words of Sri Guru within the heart and renounce all other aspirations. On page 52, Srila Thakur Mahashaya says, Sri Guru Charanerati Eise Utama Gati Ye Prashade Pure Sarva Asa. Those who hold the instructions of Sri Guru on the principles of Sri Krishna, the devotion to Him, love for Him, 
and he stays in the heart. And love, Sri Guru's lotus feet, will easily be blessed with attaining the greatest treasure in the kingdom of Prema. Namely, excellent source of loving devotional service like massaging the lotus feet of Sri Radha's heart's friend, Krishna, on the strength of their unalloyed devotion to Sri Guru's lotus feet. Now, when Rati awakens for the lotus feet of Sri Guru's lotus feet, that is, if the Sadaka's heart is colored by the dye of unalloyed devotion for Sri Guru Deva's lotus feet. <coughs> Or we can say, if the heart of Sadaka becomes filled with feelings for Sri Guru, who is embodiment of Bhajana, he will easily attain the supreme goal. The purpose is that Sadaka, who is lovingly attached to the lotus feet of Sri Guru, will most certainly attain the supreme goal of Sri Radha Krishna Nikunja Seva. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, so yeah. it was. Yes, it was Baba's explanation of Shri Guru Charane Rati. Rati means you know. Rati means madness. Extreme. Rati love. is the wife of a Kamadeva. All material body concerns people know. When Rati comes, the wife of Kamdeva first coming, madness coming, then Kamadeva comes. That's Rati. Means nothing looking, many are sitting, but I know she and One pointed, all become dark for me because my rati is so intense, I cannot block myself and I cannot see anyone. I see only how to feel, to complete my mission. That is rati. That madness, that man. That Charanrati. That Charanrati. That Charanrati that only use I see. Sri Guru Charane Rati says Uttamagati. This is the highest. Material madness is very small, funny. It is only for the short time. But this Rati is the highest thing in the life. Manjari has only Rati. Madness for Radharani 24-7. 
he is busy to think and do and think and work and everything. She cannot be out of that. See, Manjari become mad. Our spiritual consciousness become mad. Nothing can be. And how is this madness practicing? The Guru Charanarati says the Uttamagati. Highest Gati, highest things to do. This Rati is not there in Lotus Feet of the Speaker. Yeah. Mm. Baba is saying, Sadaka, who is lovingly attached, you see? lovingly attached. Translator, translate is translator, but this is the meaning of Prati. Yes. yes. Now my Kama Deva will come and is over then. But Rati is more tasteful than a Kama Deva. The madness, the period of the madness is more beautiful than when Kama Deva comes. You can realize it. That, 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 that has to be here. Understand? This material body, material life is a practical room to understand the meaning of the words, to you, how to use the divine. And such person will most certainly attain the supreme goal of Sri Radha Krishna's Nikunja Seva. Sri Radha. Nikunja Seva. Rati, you see, Nikunja Seva, you go with Rati. That Rati make you to be mad, that is flowing. <laughs> In morning, we are listening about the honey wine. In Vila Pusamanjali, Radha Rasulani, honey wine. <laughs> there are three types of wine. One is a wine. Physical body wants wine. One is a divine. Soul wants divine. And one is a honey wine. <laughs> 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 Manjari can see what is honey wine. Honey, huh? honey wine. Manjari can understand meaning of honey wine. You see, <laughs> there are three subjects. Baba mentioned this wine, divine, and honey wine. <laughs> Which chapter was there? 141. 141. When you don't know this honey wine, you will say, okay, some honey wine make it. But it's a different wine. Only Manjari can see that wine. Even Saki cannot see that wine. But it's a honey wine. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> say, say, Uttama Gati. Say, Guru Charane Rati. Say, say, Uttama Gati. This Uttama Gati means you can reach to the honey wine. <laughs> this is the first year. Guru Kripa. Yeah. yeah. So we need ye prasade pure sarva asha. Ah. Pure sarva asha means all your desire will fulfill here. All things is will cover here. Some spontaneous sort of thing came to me. <laughs> yeah. So in Sadak there, we taste, we can taste the wine. In our soul consciousness, we can taste the divine and in our swarup, the honey wine. Three <laughs> <laughs> Radha. Yeah. Krishna to this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Prasade Pure Sarvasha means that when she Gurudeva is pleased. All aspirations of sadaka, such as fanning Shirada Mohan with Chamara in Sri Vrindavan's jeweled temple, massaging their lotus feet, or rendering other loving services are fulfilled. Yeah. So, we will go to verse 5, 56 page. Chakshu dano diloye janme janme prabhu se divya gyan kride prokashi. Prema bhakti yahaoite avidya vinashayate vede gai yahara charita. He who opened my eyes is my Lord, bird after bird. I say little bit. Before I was blind, I cannot see, I cannot understand. When I see, I cannot understand. When I listen, I cannot understand. listening. But when He give me divine eyes, He give make all divine. Chakshudan, He give the eyes to me. He give the vision to see. He give me ear to understand. He give me my mind to realize my soul, to feel and accept it. That is the meaning of this. He changed, the, changed his, all my senses. Chakshudan Dilojai. He changed the vision of my senses. 
understand the reason of my mind from the false ego to the reality. He opened me. Chakshudan Devaji, Janme, Janme, Prabhu say, I have never understand what I am understanding now. I can see what I cannot see before. I can under listen. Never I listen before and I understand behind meaning of that. Who do this to me? Who do this to me? From where it happens? And I research. This is the mercy of Gurudev happened in my life. And without this changing my looking, the reason of my senses will not change. How I will enter in the Prema Bhakti? How I can go in Prema Bhakti? Yakshudan Delade Janame Janame Prabhu say Dibya Jnana Hirda Prakashita Dibya Jnana He give the eyes, he give the... Remove from the false ego. I can see. Is the process light? Automatic lighting in my life. Enlightened. I see only positive, there is nothing negative now. Before all negative I see now, everything is positive with the mercy of him. That's the beauty of it. Sorry, I interrupted no. you. <laughs> he who opened my eyes, is my Lord. Birth after birth. He revealed divine knowledge within my heart. And not only knowledge, he gave me capacity to understand that. So first he gave me eyes and he gave me divine knowledge and I accept it. That's the mercy of that is the mercy. I listen to many things, no accepting. But I like and accept it only because of His mercy itself. He relieved, revealed divine knowledge within my heart. Yeah. For, from Him, Ecstatic, loving devotion emanates. You see, that is loving devotion. Prem bhakti jahavate avidya vidas jai. Vede gai jaharo charitra. Explain. From him, ecstatic loving devotion emanates. Yeah. 
she destroys all ignorance, avidya, and he is glorious, are sung by the different Vedas. Vedegai Yahara Charita. Sri Rad. Sri Rad. You read the Vedas, you do not understand. You read the books, you do not understand. Now, you read two lines, you will go so deep understanding, you do not know what is happening to you. You read three lines, you will understand how deep meaning is. So, Vedas is missing because my visions are blocked. I read but no understanding is coming. Now everything is crystal clear. One line crystal clear. Hmm. Everything crystal clear. Bhagavad Gita, before I was reading, now I read is a different meaning I get. Mm. Chaitan Chaitamrit, before I read, now I read is different meaning. So why, why this is happening to me? Because you do this good thing, your mercy is great. You open my eyes, you, you give so divine that my senses change. My false ego is not disturbing. It's so powerful, infusion you do that I try to do but I cannot. Infuse your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty two, sixty two page for translators. Shri Guru Karuna Sindhu Adama Janara Bandhu Lokanath friend Bandhu means friend, you are my Gurudev. You become my friend. You are my friend. You are my friend. You are the real friend in my life. Bandhu, Bandhu friend, who never leave me and is still here talking to me and holding my hand and showing the way more and more. You, you are the Shri Guru Karuna Sindhu Adama Janara Bandhu Lukanata Lokera Jivana. Yeah. Ha ha Prabhu Korodoya Deho More Padachaya Ebeyasha Gushuka Tribuana. Shri Guru is an ocean of mercy and the friend 
of the fallen. Friend, he's a friend like me, fallen, he's a friend of me. I speak I'm a very fallen and he is my friend. He is my friend. He should always be right. Which way to go? Sometime I am sitting, not instruction coming, I know said. And he instructs me immediately and sometimes it is there. But I do and his instruction I receive. Sometimes small thing, I quit in he sent me instruction and sometimes he waits. That is sitting Chaitya Guru inside and guiding us. He is always with us. Shri Guru is an ocean of mercy and the friend of the fallen. Lokanatha Goswami is the life of the world. Oh Lord, be gracious to me and give me the shade of your lotus feet. Now let the three worlds proclaim your glories. Ebe Yasha Tribuana Jaisi. We can stop Guru Dev here. <laughs> Never stop. Go on, all night. <laughs> this is the way to live with it. Is his best. One time I was in Miami and in Miami I opened one video of Prabhupada. It was the Vyas Puja of his Gurudev. He took it and all are singing after Kirtan, he started giving classes. He give respect to his Gurudev and he say, you are all the expression of my Gurudev. You bless me that I can fulfill the desire of my Gurudev. To all his devotees and he's praying to all lotus feet today. Please, you are the expansion of my Guru. Please bless me that I can fulfill the desire of my Guru. I was hmm. so excited to see this words of Prabhupada, I cannot say. I know time is over, <laughs> but mercy will be always. <laughs> we have to keep it in our life. 
and bless me that I can always serve to my Lord. And what I do mistake to Him, I can improve. There is some time left for me. I want to share one. Yeah. God, I, I want to share one. Radhe Radhe. I want to share one quote from Shilana Rain Maharaj. He once said to his disciples, I am uh, closer to you than the air that you breathe. I found that is a very nice um, quote and good to meditate. No? I'm closer to you than the air that you breathe. <coughs> Rade. Thanks to everyone.